Hello, welcome back to another vlog. It's one of the more, more vlogs we're gonna see about innovations and everything. So we are going to the National Self-Built Innovation Center. And it took me a while to remember the name just so I can say it on the vlog. Uh, I saw Lucy Jessica Carter going there because they just moved in their renovation property. And this, we decided to go there as well. It looked cool and there's a lot of new things for to see. Uh, hopefully we will be moving soon. In maybe a couple of days we will find out the date when we can move. Fingers crossed. Hopefully. But from what I've seen in her video, they do have a lot of displays of like kitchens, doors, uh, lots of things like extensions, which I don't think we're going to do any extensions, but we will try and renovate the house ourselves as much as we can. And the biggest project is going to be our kitchen, which is quite old and is going to be redone completely. So it's probably a good day out for the family. We have the girls with us because obviously we are home, we are off school at the moment. And we are here and it's sunny and nice outside. But where we live, it was raining. So that's why we decided to go somewhere and see something indoors. So I will take you along with us and see what we can find. This will be a dream come true, <laughs> maybe one day. We're gonna have a big enough garden to have one base. It's so cool. It's so big though. And this is the number one. This is how it looks. It is so cool. <laughs> Emilia is interested. <laughs> yeah. No, Does it say no, how much? No. Basically, what they do, they give you one of these little thing, and uh, it's a scanner. And if you need information about anything, just go there and just scan this here, and then they will send you information via email, or you get contacted. The lady said that it's mostly via email. <laughs> scaffolding and all the tools and everything the good thing about the center is that there are no people you can just browse by yourself and um, if you need the information like i said you just scan and then you get all the info someone is contacting you but you can just browse around there's no one here to ask any questions you can just take your time and touch and do everything foundation raft I mean, we don't need this because, like I said, our house is in quite a good condition. We're just looking more for like renovation inside and decoration and stuff. We will have to replace our front doors, front door, and there's like plenty of options. You can have a look, there's like a facade if you want to change. Because our house is an Edwardian house, I would love to keep it more like traditional. And I love this door, but it's a bit too modern, I think, for the house. And it's gonna look out of place, and you cannot open this. <laughs> it doesn't open that one, lovely. Yeah. Is it cool? But yeah, it's a cool door, really. Love this. Well, we will try to keep it a little bit more traditional. This is absolutely beautiful. 
beautiful traditional oak frame roof um oh this is for like a loft conversion so cool i don't think we're gonna have a loft conversion but if you're planning on one there's like plenty of places things to see in here oh is it open i don't know i don't want to push it but it's cool Uh, if you're looking for different types of roof, um, we will have to eventually replace our roof too. And at the moment, I think it's something like that. I'm not sure really, but it looks something like that. Um, yeah, I like these kind of roofs. I think they are more expensive than getting like the plastic kind of roof. This is more traditional. They've got you covered, they've got everything. All sorts of wall um, bricks. Um, how do you call it? Brick and stone supplies. Cool. <laughs> oh, how nice is that? I don't even want to know how much it costs if you want to have something like this done. If you have like an old farmhouse. This is so nice, like old style. I've seen some parts, I think, I can't remember where we went. A lot of houses had this kind of roof. Face tabs, slates, butter roof and felt. Nice. And the double door <laughs> I saw this in American movies which is I think it is so cool if you have it for the, your backyard and maybe if you have pets or kids you don't want to let them out but you want the air to come in so you'll just open one side and leave the other side um, close and I'm really torn towards this kind of sage green it's just such a calming nice color and we are just gonna go inside a full-on building house I welcome to Patton, I guess it's a company that builds new homes and there's like loads of information if you're looking to build your own house which I think it's a cool idea but kind of a, I'm scared of building a house or so. Let's go! Is a bit of a waste of space. You could have had like a bedroom here. But, oh, this is super cool. <laughs> this is for the home cinema oh my god the uh, sound in this room is just so cool there are speakers there one there 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 and then the front and we are watching and now one of this relaxing um, video and you can really hear the birds and the really sound of the leaves around it's so cool oh wow what money can buy, huh? <laughs> Kitchens. I love a kitchen island. It's so beautiful. I would love the sink in black. The only thing, the people that have, have it, they complain that there are a lot of watermarks and stains, so it's hard to keep it always clean. Oh, I can see every standing bath. Let's just go on. More kitchens. 
This looks small but so well put together. And this is so cool because the extraction fan is built in. It's just super cool. And look at this. So nice. Freestanding bath is my dream. Our bathroom is going to be the last room where that we're gonna renovate. And another one. Our bathroom is quite a big room, but they, when they put it together, they didn't uh, uh, design it well because it's a big room with lots of waste um, waste spaces. This one is nice. It's me. <laughs> and there is another kitchen there. Oh, bedroom. Like all the bedroom DIY building cabinet for the bedroom we have the building wardrobes in both of the big bedrooms and we're thinking of just changing the doors if the doors because they are old if the cabinets are still well cellars that one is cool Loads of nice stuff. There is something really cool about this island that I wanted to show you. So here is a dishwasher. I've never seen a dishwasher you load from up. It sounds cool and uh, you don't have to bend down. Then here is the under sink. One, two. So cool. This is another. This is the beans and another drawer. And then this is freezer. I think it's freezer. And look at this. How cool! And on the other side is this. We've got storage, and I think this one open. Boop. It's so cool. So the other side of the kitchen, here, coffee machine and storage, here, wait for it, oh so cool, and just very easily whoop, close it back, and so cool, i never seen this before, the splash back, you can add all your spices in here, Look. This is such a cool idea. And then same here, yeah, yeah, like I said, all the spices and everything. My goodness, this is just dreams. And let me just haven't opened this one. Just normal throws and pantry. was looking for me <laughs> my goodness this is the kitchen of them and it looks small but got so much storage in it unbelievable okay uh chopping boards storage how cool is that and these serving trays oh my goodness this kitchen is also cool i don't like this is way too much for me beans this is cool it's quite good size beans and um, they put another one face uh, here dishwasher this then we have the island again I love the extractor it's already here I oh, know this is gonna open cool Dede you okay baby <laughs> paint I don't know, I've never seen those. It's just so, it would be so hard to find a paint. Um, especially a white shade of paint. Maple dust, this is so cool. There's not enough light in here to understand properly the uh, colors. Uh, they've got lots of nice colors. And um, these are samples. Mommy, these are paint. Yes, paint. 
Nice. Can we get some paint to our home? This is such a lovely warm tone. This will be so nice for the girls' room because it's like a peachy pink, very muted color. Craftsman white is too white. It's a little bit of gray in it. Nice. I may have found my favorite shade of white. It's called Regency White. I don't know how the camera shows. It's this like warm tone, white, like beige white. This is exactly what I'm going for. I want something warm. I don't want it gray and I don't want it too white that it looks like a hospital. And this is just so beautiful. I can't see any prices, so I'm sure they're not the cheapest colors ever by a I love these and then we also have it in gloss which i mean we're not going for gloss what other colors are nice this blue is so beautiful also have we also have the outdoors this is like a nice gliding tour and all type of fences um, offices or summer houses for the outside. Do you do now? Kind of so cool. <gasps> for so cool. For privacy. Oh, so nice. And um, this is like the renovation project of like an old house thanks god our house is not in this condition uh, because there were cracks and everything this is a proper like proper old house yeah and um, yeah no, our house, thanks God, is not in this condition. <laughs> but yeah, lots of houses, uh, renovation projects. They look like this. They even painted the grime and everything. <laughs> this is definitely... Uh, this exhibition is better than a soft play for the kids. And I think when we go on the other side, we'll be able to see house in like a different renovation steps this is basically where they took down everything to renovate it and then when we go here we'll see how they made it look after it's all done it's definitely a big project for brave people so this is the entrance that we saw it was all with wallpaper and kitchen i love this kitchen this is exactly what i want white except this one i want these kind of countertops and the nice like brushed brass um, detailing very lovely kitchen and then we have windows which are like blocked I think and on the other side what a cool idea for a splash pack also if you will be full mirror this will look dirty very quickly but because it's this like an old antique mirror this is cool you're not gonna see literally every little uh, spot in here nice I love that who would have thought there are so many types of shower and look at that isn't that a dream? It's like having a shower in the rain. It's so cool. I mean, I would be happy with that. But that one is so big. And all of those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All done. So the verdict is if you have money, you can have some amazing things in your house. <laughs> it's unbelievable. So many things I didn't even know existed. There's so many new things that we saw. Um, yeah, it was cool. It's definitely a good place to come and look around if you are looking to build or to renovate your house. There are so many ideas. Uh, the kitchens, oh my God, the kitchen was just 
unbelievable. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think my now dreams became a little bit too expensive. So yeah, uh, that's it for today's vlog. We're just gonna go and have some food and then head home. So yeah, I'll see you next time. Love you, love you. Bye. Bye.